welcome back to A Moment in Crime, the Leader Post video series that explores crimes that shape this province. I uh, remember as a kid watching the movie Papillon, and it was one of my favorite prison escape movies, came out in 1973. This month there's going to be a remake that comes out, and so in the spirit of prison escapes, I thought we would go back 10 years to what was one of the biggest escapes from the Regina Correctional Center. On August 24th, 2008, so 10 years ago this month, we had what turned out to be one of the largest and more complex escapes from the Regina Correctional Center. What happened was uh, there was a, a bunch of high security inmates in Unit 3A. So this is a, a, what I think typically we would call a gang unit in the remand section, so no one had been convicted, they started to pick up things throughout the center where they found them, things that might uh, help facilitate a little bit of digging or, or breaking of cement. And uh, chief among them was a nail clipper. And that nail clipper became very important in this escape. So what these prisoners did, and they started in about May of that year, a bunch of them would play cards at the end of the corridor. And that kind of provided a cover for the other inmates who were um, using that nail clipper to slowly uh, open up a grill and then some of the battering tools to eventually break down the bricks and mortar behind that grill and slowly over time they work their way towards uh, a hole in the wall. What I found interesting uh, later when I was reading about this escape was one of the inmates admitted that they never thought it was going to succeed. At every step they thought it would be uncovered and in fact the timing of this was very important because a new remand unit was under construction and they worried if they waited too long that they would get shuffled into the new unit. around 8.30, just after the last count, when they would have went through and made sure all the prisoners were there, the plan was put into action. Six of the inmates managed to get through that hole, kick out the last bricks, and then make their way onto a ledge, which was about 10 feet from the ground. They uh, got from that ledge, um, over top of the, the razor wire that you see that surrounds the correctional center and using braided clothing made it down the wall and they were gone. These guys had a good hour lead before anyone realized they were missing and as guards started to move in and check uh, who, who was there and who wasn't prisoners, the other prisoners on the unit, started to kind of uh, a mini riot, sort of di to disrupt and delay the amount of time it would take for the guards to sort out who was missing. Um, in fact, when they got into one of the cells, um, they looked, thought the fellow was there, but in fact he'd put a dummy in his bed, um, sort of reminiscent of some of the old movies. They realized they were missing six very dangerous men. Three of these fellows were wanted on murder charges. Chief among them was Daniel Wolf, who at that time was facing two counts of first degree murder and three counts of attempt murder. Eventually, all of the men were rounded up. Uh, 
the first one was caught within hours. He hadn't even made it very far from the correctional center. Most of the others, though, were gone for a few days, a few weeks. Daniel Wolf actually made it all the way to Winnipeg and wasn't arrested until mid-September of that year. Um, he later did an interview and suggested he wasn't even thinking of escaping, but, you know, the opportunity was there. In the aftermath of that escape, as you can expect, uh, correctional officials, uh, police were rather tight-lipped about how this whole escape had happened. But what was very interesting was there was an inmate uh, who had witnessed the whole thing and really wanted to share the story of what he had seen. At one point, he sent a drawing to one of our reporters here at the Leader Post, and that drawing showed in quite a bit of detail how this escape had unfolded. He uh, shows the, them coming through the hole in the wall, scaling out on the ledge, coming up and with tiny little clothing drawn here showing the rope ladder to freedom. The investigation that followed this great escape and the uh, response by the province led to a lot of changes in corrections and we haven't seen an escape of this scale since.